Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and we are talking about Jira Administrator Tutorials. As a part of this tutorial, we'll be talking about some of the integrations in our Jira Administrator. Now, of course, when it comes to the end-to-end -end project management, we often don't rely on one particular software or one particular tool. There are different solutions for different objectives which we may have within our project management. For example, when you talk about test management, when you talk about your task management, or you talk about agile process itself, or even if it is coming to the code management, we may have different solutions because each product is made for a specific reason with a particular applicability. And that's where we understand that there are some things which are good for different activities and we make use of different tools. But what if you have an opportunity or an option to integrate all the tools to one particular common platform, you definitely get ease of access and effective executions of different activities. And that's what we will be exploring more today with respect to the Jira. That what all things can be possibly integrated with the Jira administrator and to, uh, integrate all these options in order to make use of it at one particular place. So let's explore and understand more about the integrations in Jira Administrator. As a part of this tutorial, we will be getting into the deeper dive of applications management in Jira Administrator. As a part of this, today we are talking about the integration section of the applications management, where we'll be talking about application links, DVCS accounts, Bamboo configuration, Fisheye configuration, and Perforce integration. In order to understand further, of course, you can access your integration option right available in administration access within the application tab. Anytime to navigate to application, you can just click on the cogwheel and click on the applications menu to reach out to the application tab where you will find the integration section and there we will have all the options what you can see here as application links, DVCS accounts, bamboo configurations, fisheye configuration and perforce integration. Where DVCS accounts are definitely the distributed version control systems which many organizations make use of for managing their code and other activities. Now, to begin with, the very first thing is of course the application links, which allows you to link any kind of external application which you might be using or maybe it can be a resource. For example, if I have www.google.com, uh, it can be a repository link for me, I just have to create a new link. And that's it. The link will be listed here and I can definitely make use of it. And I have to provide all the necessary information that what kind of application is this? Is this the type of generic application, Confluence, Bitbucket, Jira, Bamboo, or any other thing? So I can just defini definitely provide all the information there because these links basically becomes accessible to you to uh, you know have a quick access on the left panel of your home page and the users will find it easy to navigate between external applications at any point of time. Because a lot of time the organization have their unique URLs to access these details and it becomes complicated for users to navigate and find out the exact information. So this will be easy way for them to navigate to the right person and of course they like uh, using the name they will have a link behind it. They click on the name and they can very well reach out to the right place where they want to be. Of course, there might be other information which might be required to be mentioned in order to be connected to that. And you can fill in that information. Being an administrator, you will be provided with that information to fill in here and click on continue. So you can connect any kind of application which you are interested with and could be an external application which you want to include in your Jira server instance. The next option is DVCS accounts, which is distributed version control systems. And of course, you're aware of managing your code these days using Bitbucket or GitHub, which are very common sources which you can make use of. So of course, uh, when you have all these options being integrated somewhere external, you can have it integrated right with your Jira server instance. This allows you to manage all the information at one place. So once you are connected, of course, you will have the access to the Bitbucket code and any kind of movement which you may have with respect to the activities which you're performing. 
So integrating Bitbucket uh, and Jira gives you a lot of freedom to manage a lot of things. For example, connecting Bitbucket Cloud to Jira Server Cloud, connect, uh, use Jira Software Cloud projects in Bitbucket Cloud, create Jira issues from the Bitbucket itself. You don't really have to manually come back to Jira. You can directly from the Bitbucket, you will have a, a create button and you can definitely raise an issue right from there. Transition Jira issues during pull request merge. So every time you do a pull, pull request merge, then you can definitely transition between the status of the issues. Configure automatic team in, invitations. You can, of course, invite all the users from Bitbucket to the Jira or Jira to the Bitbucket and enable smart commits as well. So there are a lot of benefits of having uh, this integration. And of course, uh, you will be having more efficiency when you work with these kind of integration within your Jira server instance. When it comes to the Bamboo configuration, of course, Bamboo is another uh, option which typically uh, people use for any kind of integration and uh, their CI concept. So, of course, you will have these all options here that you can also integrate. So the table shows below uh, the Bamboo application links currently configured for Jira. So you can have multiple. And if in case you do not have Bamboo, of course, you need to install. And for that, you have a direct link option here. That is, you can download it right here. So all you need to do is click here to add one. Just put there, click, and uh, put up the you know details of the host, like the link application link URL. And you can be very well connected with all the necessary steps which you uh, learned in the application link option. Similarly for the FishEye, FishEye as well allows you to give you a great option to manage all your activities. For example, it says the Jira FishEye plugins allows you to integrate Jira projects with FishEye repository and or Crucible projects. So of course, uh, these external repositories are very common these days in a lot of product-based organizations and project uh, service-based organizations as well. So you don't want to manage two different applications to manage all your progress and uh, activities and monitor them from different applications. So you can very well have the provision now in Jira software to integrate them so that you can have everything at one place and manage them well. So this is another option which you can have. But of course, to uh, move into the next one, that is the Perforce, which is a task management system, or you say that uh, Perforce job application where Perforce is an application which allows you to manage your task including the configuration management and you can keep a track on all the activities which you perform externally. So of course you might have Jira to manage your task but to do your daily basic task you may have another application called as Perforce. In simple terms a lot of people also call it as P4. So P4 is an application which can further be integrated to Jira interfaces and of course you can manage everything about your daily task within the Jira interface as well. So it's more of like uh, you can have connectivity between the uh, Perforce activities and the Jira issues which are created for your uh, you know project specific activity. So instead of you know uh, trying to you know complicate your Jira activities and issues uh, you can actually break your uh, task further into Perforce and then integrate your Perforce to Jira to relate that uh, task to a particular issue. So that can showcase to any of your management person that how exactly you are being progressing with your activities in distributed way. So there are a lot of benefits of uh, having these integrations within your Jira server instance and uh, having such options can definitely give you a centralized access to many of the features uh, within the Jira server instance. You don't really have to jump between the applications and wonder about it and uh, you know, have a navigation issues. So that's all from the integration section of the Jira administrative team. We'll be talking about doing some of the integrations in later advanced levels uh, tutorials. So stay tuned for that. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.